The AONA CMF Visiting Professor Program is an initiative we are very excited about. The Visiting Professorship concept is to promote collaborative learning and to highlight positive changes that have occurred in the AONA as it moves to further solidify its position as a professional organization. A typical program includes meetings with residents, case presentations, with case discussion between faculty and residents. This provides a great opportunity for residents to get valuable feedback from an expert. Recently, our program visited Walter Reed Military Hospital where resident doctors who are active duty military were able to collaborate with Dr. Paul Manson. Uh, today is a learning day for our residents and uh, other specialty uh, uh, residents, EMT, plastics, uh, where we come together and present some cases, uh, some uh, interesting cases where Dr. Matson you know, can have some input and all the other services will have something to contribute. They're multidisciplinary cases and uh, it's a very good learning experience uh, to hear how different uh, uh, specialties will address certain uh, conditions of these patients and then obviously getting the expert opinion on uh, Dr. Matson's uh, it's going to be great. Uh, we also have uh, his uh, lecture series that he's going to present in the afternoon. So we're looking forward for a great uh, learning day today. And uh, it should be great. Came here to learn about some advanced uh, difficult cases. Uh, discuss the, how that is applicable to like a deployed uh, set, setting. Hoping to learn more about some uh, orbital procedures. Uh, plastics type procedures, fracture repair. Well, I'm actually a little more interested in trying to determine specifically um, to build more collaborative re relationships with our OMFS colleagues, know kind of more of, on what they do, um, and then try and build a more collaborative relationship with each other so we can potentially use each other's skills um, in the operating room together in front of patients. It, uh... It's always fascinating to me to look at them and then to hear. So I say, what's your number one priority? What was hers? Hers was just that generalized spatial asymmetry with everything freaking down. Yeah. Except for that, we tried to make certain differential cuts in that type of space. So I think if she had the book, would make it seem like that certain differential stenosis is rather easily managed. <laughs> Until you have a half dozen patients with it, and the, you, know, you, yeah. you work on it, you pack it, they're miserable for two months, and then you remove the packing, and then a month later, it's all tightened back down again. And do you think that helped? Absolutely. I mean, we were, so uh, I apologize, but the, the post-op CT that we captured, I have this kind of, actually, you can almost appreciate it here. So you can see where some of the embolization actually took place. Uh, so here you can see post-operative imaging there. So there's the same craniectomy we saw before, but then coming into view is the frontal sinus repair that was done there. I am Jason Bolter, I'm one of the neurosurgery residents uh, at Walter Reed. Um, it was a great opportunity to talk about a uh, complicated case we've had over the last couple years. Uh, it generated a lot of good discussion. I uh, was really happy to be a part of it. To take people and operate on them quickly and they put the people who needed to do that right in front of them. And indeed, it is revolutionary, life-saving. We have this amazing team of um, people that together we come up with these incredible solutions and make great outcomes. But when you're by yourself, even if you're very well trained, uh, being by yourself and not having as much access to resources, if you get really complicated cases like that, may not be, all of us might not be able to handle it because it takes this team and having partners and one uh, faith. Here, I can close this incision and then take out the blocking stitches and I don't lose any blood. Well, the cases we presented today were cases that were multidisciplinary in nature, so, um, so just took a little bit more coordination and planning for all of the teams. Um, and we also chose cases that um, are a little bit open-ended. We don't really know exactly what our next step will be. And so it was really helpful to have all the different specialties in the same room. And of course, Dr. Hansen is so knowledgeable, so much experience to hear these cases and the sort of problems that we've run into, or um, just the difficult things that we see with this.